Okay, now we are going to apply what we have just learned in the last lesson using compatible numbers to solve actual problems using two-digit divisors. The first thing we're going to look at is a problem that's going to give us a one-digit quotient. And I know sometimes students struggle with this because it's, it's taking more than just your multiplication facts now. And, but it's using things like compatible numbers to come up with this answer. I'm going to show you how it's done. Let's say you need, or you need 250 yards of string to fly a kite. Each pack of string comes in 75 yards, and you want to figure out how many packs you need. Now, to do this, we need to divide. We need to divide 250 by 75. Now, we may not know our 75 times tables, but that's okay because we just learned about compatible numbers. So now we're going to set up 250 divided by 75. I want to underline that 25 and I want to underline the 7. Now, what is a number close to 25? Or we can round that 75, that 7. How about we round that one up to 8? Because of that 5. That 5 tells us to round the 7 up to 8. So now we have the divisor of 8. So what is a number close to 25 that 8 goes into? And the answer is 24. But remember, we're not dividing by 8 and we're not. Uh, using 24 as our dividend. We're using 240 because 250 is going to go down to 240 and 75 is going to go up to 80. Now we underline the 24 and the 8. 24 divided by 8 is going to give us 3. Now both the zeros will cross out. You may say, well, why did we do that? We just did that in the last lesson. That's going to help us with the actual problem. Here comes the real problem. 250 divide it by 75, set up in long division brackets. So then we look at this problem and we say, does 75 go into 2? No. Does 75 go into 25? No. Does 75 go into 250? Yes. But how many times? Well, yes, we could count and we could do little multiplication problems, or we could use compatible numbers like we just did. Now, we know that it goes in about three times. So we're going to use that three as a, a starting point. And we're going to take, we're going to put the three above the zero. Three times seventy-five is going to give us two hundred twenty-five. Good job. Now we just subtract. Remember the song: you first you must divide, then you multiply and subtract. So we take two hundred fifty minus two hundred twenty-five. That is going to give us twenty-five. And we check: is our number down there, our difference down there of twenty-five, less than seventy-five? The divisor. The answer is yes. So that is our remainder. So if we go back to the original problem, we are now going to say 250 divided by 75 is 3 remainder 25. How many packs should we have? If you said 3, you'd be incorrect because you have a remainder of 25 that you still need. So you'd have to buy 4 packs. Remember, that's called using reasonableness. So in this problem, you use compatible numbers. To find the estimate, then you divide it using two digit divisors, found your quotient with the remainder, and used reasonableness to determine your answer, not your solution. So you're really tying it all together in this problem. Let's see if you can do one or two on your own.